Crypto lending works kind of like using Bitcoin as collateral for a loan. Think of it as a decentralized finance service using blockchain to lend crypto to borrowers and earn crypto interest in return. If you're a crypto lender, it's a bit like having a high-yield savings account. But instead of regular money, it's all about using cryptocurrency. Sounds interesting, right? Yet, because digital currencies and crypto market are still quite new and not always super stable, traditional lenders aren't jumping into crypto lending just yet. But guess what? Crypto lending is quickly becoming a hot DeFi service on cryptocurrency platforms and exchanges. Welcome back to Finance Homefront. Bev here. Today, we're diving into the wild world of crypto and asking the burning question, can you turn your crypto stash into collateral for business loans? Get ready because we're about to reveal the secrets of financing in the digital age. If you are ready to ride the crypto wave and make your money work for you, hit that like button, subscribe to join our financial adventure, and don't forget to ring that notification bell. You won't want to miss what's coming your way. Let's go! Crypto lending works like a digital matchmaking service for lenders and borrowers. Think of it as a lending marketplace on a crypto platform or exchange. Both parties hop on board by signing up with their digital wallets. Here's what happens. Crypto lenders move their crypto from their wallets to a high-interest lending spot on the platform. Borrowers, on the other hand, apply for crypto loans, and the platform greenlights them while setting interest rates and fees. The loan gets funded using the crypto lender's stash, and as borrowers make their monthly payments, both the crypto lender and the platform pocket some interest. Each platform dances to its own tune, with unique interest rates and fees. Some platforms offer it if you're cool with locking in your crypto without making withdrawals. It gives the platform more lending power. And hey, there's an automated twist too. Borrowers and lenders link their digital wallets to a lending protocol that uses smart contracts to decide when a loan can be given the green light. It's like lending on autopilot, powered by code on blockchain networks. Easy, right? Crypto lending, like any financial venture, comes with its own set of risks and rewards. On the plus side, it offers some attractive benefits. Borrowers revel in the fact that there's no pesky credit check, making it an option for those who might not qualify for more traditional loans. Plus, it often flaunts lower interest rates than its conventional counterparts. On the flip side, lenders enjoy passive income from their crypto holdings and can snag higher interest rates compared to regular savings accounts. However, let's not ignore the cons. The absence of insurance from the Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation means crypto lenders face a higher risk of losing their hard-earned cash. Borrowers might also find themselves dealing with loan-to-value ratio requirements of up to 50%, adding a layer of complexity. Liquidity issues can pose a challenge, making it tricky to sell collateral quickly to cover the principal. And if you're dealing with stable coins, your collateral's value hinges on the US dollar value of the cryptocurrency you've chosen. So as with any financial adventure, it's crucial to weigh the pros and cons before diving into the world of crypto lending. Despite its appeal, crypto lending carries its share of risks. The inherent volatility of cryptocurrencies, known for their unpredictable price fluctuations, adds complexity to loan arrangements. Lenders face the risk of borrowers defaulting, a concern amplified in the realm of crypto lending. The possibility of platform insolvency is another risk. As cryptocurrency platforms, prone to bankruptcy due to market volatility, lack the safety net of FDIC-insured banks. Security concerns and cyber attacks targeting digital assets, especially with popular currencies like Bitcoin and Ethereum, pose a constant threat. Additionally, the technology underpinning crypto lending, such as smart contracts, is susceptible to coding errors, potentially leading to banking-like mistakes. The regulatory landscape for crypto lending remains uncertain, just like the Wild West, leaving little recourse in the absence of clear legal guidelines. As enticing as crypto lending may seem, it's necessary to navigate these risks with caution. Finding reliable crypto lending platforms can be tricky as the industry is still evolving. When seeking a trustworthy crypto lender, it's essential to prioritize certain factors, such as robust security measures, including encryption, reasonable interest rates and fees for borrowers, flexible loan turn options, 
support for multiple currencies like BTC and BTH, a lower risk of platform insolvency, and deposit limits for lenders. While the landscape is dynamic, some platforms that align with these criteria include CoinRabbit, uHodler, and Binance. It's important to stay vigilant and consider these aspects when exploring crypto lending options. As more people jump into the crypto world, both existing and new companies will attempt to fill the gaps left by now-defunct crypto lenders such as Genesis, Voyager, BlockFi, and Celsius. They'll pitch the same enticing promises of high returns without much transparency or risk management, similar to the failed lenders before them. Expect a surge in opportunistic newcomers trying to grab a slice of the market. Amidst rising prices, it's crucial to ask the right questions. Did the lenders smoothly navigate through 2023? Are they relatively new to the scene? Investors should dig into how the yield is generated demand evidence of proper client asset accounting, and scrutinize risk management policies and track records. If you're not getting clear answers or disclosures, proceed with caution. Trading volumes for Bitcoin and Ether in both spot trading and derivatives are expected to move from unregulated platforms to regulated ones. Previously, a significant portion of crypto trading occurred on unregulated platforms that often lacked KYC or Know Your Customer checks, such as decentralized exchanges and P2P markets. The introduction of regulatory clarity, along with the emergence of spot Bitcoin ETFs, is likely to shift a considerable part of this trading volume to regulated venues. This means that decentralized exchanges like Uniswap may see a decrease in spot trading while platforms like Coinbase and Kraken may experience an increase. Similarly, derivatives' volumes, including options and futures, might transition from overseas exchanges like Binance and Bybit to regulated entities such as the Chicago Mercantile Exchange and the New York Stock Exchange for ETFs. In conclusion, the regulatory landscape is evolving in the decentralized finance space with authorities taking an aggressive stance that may impact certain projects. As these platforms face the need to adhere to know your customer requirements and regulatory guidelines, there could be a shift in trading volume towards fully regulated or genuinely unregulated venues. This crackdown might lead to some DeFi projects becoming martyrs of the regulatory efforts. I'd like to remind you that what we're sharing here is just for fun and entertainment, not financial advice. We're not financial experts, and the content is not intended to be a substitute for professional financial advice. We encourage you to conduct your own research, and if needed, seek guidance from a qualified financial professional before making any financial decisions. Any actions taken based on the information presented are at the viewer's own risk, and we do not assume any responsibility for the outcomes. Always make informed decisions to safeguard your financial well-being. Now, I'm curious to hear your thoughts. How do you think these regulatory changes will shape the future of DeFi? Share your opinions in the comments below. If you found this information valuable, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more content, and hit the notification bell to stay updated. Your engagement means a lot, and we appreciate your support.